Hey everybody, it's Scott Mitchell here with In Motion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. Now this episode we have a question from Anita and she asks, how can I force my website to always use the www in front of it even if someone does not type it in? Well, that's a good question Anita. So this episode we're going to show you how to force either the www or the non-www version of your website. Okay, so to force www or non-www in your domain name, you're going to need to edit your htaccess file. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is to log into your cPanel. I've already done that here, so we're going to go find the proper folder. So under File Manager, give that a click. Now, if it's your primary domain name that you're working with, you can just go under Web Root, which is your public HTML folder. If you have other domain names on your account and you want to work with those, you can click the document root for and then choose the domain name from the drop down and it'll take you right to it. Okay, but we're using the primary, which is going to be under public HTML. Also, make sure the show hidden files checkbox here is checked because a .htaccess file is a hidden file. If that's not checked, you won't be able to see it and therefore not be able to edit it. Go ahead and click the Go button and it takes us into the area we looked at. All right, so there's .htaccess file. The dot .files are always listed at the top because they come before numbers or letters in the sequence. So all your dot .files will be up here. .htaccess, you can right click on it and get the menu and click edit or you can just click edit or code edit, one of these two up here. All right, uh, again, you get a little pop-up, just say okay or edit. Okay, it's a pretty basic htaccess file. There's nothing here except for a couple of comments. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to uh, force the www version. So if someone types in, for instance, customercommunityimh.com without the www, we're gonna go ahead and have the uh, cPanel here, the htaccess file, force and rewrite the www in front of it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There's three little lines here. Uh, save this. All right, so let's see what it's gonna look like. I'll do a uh, new tab here. All right, a little incognito window here. And I type in customercommunityimh.com. Okay, notice I did not use www. I hit the button and it adds www in front of it. Okay, so that's the first way. The second way is very similar, and I'm gonna paste that in there too, so you can see it. See the difference? I'll leave the first one here so you can see it. Okay, so you can see it's, it's very similar, but it's kind of the reverse. It looks and says, hey, if they have www.customercommunityimh.com, we're gonna take that out and just make it regular HTTP customercommunityimh.com, just like this. Okay, now, before I do this, I have to go up here and I'm gonna comment these out. Commenting is easy in the htaccess file. You just put a pound sign or hashtag or whatever you wanna call it in front of that line and then it won't execute that line. So this can be here, it's not gonna bother anything as long as it's commented out. All right, so I save, and again, um, let's go to the new window, make it small again so you guys can see it. And this time we're gonna type in www.customercommunity.mh.com. Okay, now this time though, when I enter, you can see it removes the www. Okay, same site, it just removes the www, just like before we added in there straight. Okay, now click over here. Don't, don't try to be slick and uh, have both run in at the same time. So I uncommented these lines. So they're actually, they're both gonna run. I'll show you what happens um, when we do that. Window. All right, so we type in customercommunityimates.com and we have both running. What happens is it gives you a redirect loop that says there's too many redirects. Now in Firefox, it says something different, like uh, it's trying to execute in a way that's never gonna complete or something like that. It means the same thing. What happens is we have the non-www version trying to make www and the www also trying to make the non-www version and therefore you get this redirect loop. So you have to have one or the other commented out if you have them. Ideally, you don't want to have either, you know, both in there, you just wanna have one. Uh, so pick which one you want, stick with it, and it'll be just fine. But that's how you edit your htaccess file 
to force www or non www for your domain name. Okay guys, that's it for another edition of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment section below so we can answer those on a future episode. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.